Floss Tube. It's uh, Wednesday the 30th of June, I think. Um, must be because it's the last day of June. And here we are with uh, another Floss Tube update. I've, well, I've got a, a fair amount to show you this month. Not as much as like some months because um, Stitchy Bug disappeared a little bit at the beginning of the month, but uh, it's back. So, so yeah, so shall we just get on with it? <laughs> um, I hope I'm not going to sneeze or have to blow my nose or anything because I have hay fever and at the moment it's really bad. <laughs> so I'm just hoping that I can keep everything at bay. So, and also my garden is due sort of any time in the next hour. So I'm hoping I can get this done before he comes. So, so yes. Let's get straight into it. So the first one is Temperature Garden. Ouch, I've got sauce so on. <laughs> Caught it there. Temperature Garden by Stitching Mummy here on uh, Floss Tube and Etsy. Um, I did this last year, so this is my second year on it. Yep. I'm trying, just trying to find my card with all my details. Oh, because in the front here I've, I've been buying well i bought i think last month i think i showed you these cards from s ward designs on etsy and um you put all your information on here and you can keep track of like how you stitch them and this one is for three years but um i know she does five year ones as well and um i bought the cardstock ones from her because they'd be rubbish if I printed them on my printer um, and she does free delivery from the US so it's great so but the link for her shop is in the description below because I've, I've had a few people ask me about them so yes this is temperature garden by stitching mommy it is stitched two over two on 28 count Opal Brittany by Jodry Designs in the colourway Cairns Wing Butterfly. So this is where I am this month. So as you can see, because we got to the end of June, I needed to stitch in some more some more rows. I was hoping to do all three rows plus plus the writing, but I've not managed that yet, but at least I can get started on next month. But here, let me move my needle minder. Here is June. Uh, where does it start there? It's hard when it's back to front. Well, back to front for me. Um, so we started off with a couple of hot days and then it's just been a bit, a bit meh, <laughs> really. And then we've had a few hotter days just there. I've not stitched yesterday's yet and obviously today's is still to go on. So yeah, so hopefully next month um, I'm hoping I can finish, like do the row below as well and put the writing on and everything as well as stitching the July petals obviously. I just want to mention my needle minder as well because Stitch Mommy actually commented on it um, saying how pretty it was and I don't know if you can see the sparkle on it there but it's actually my favourite needle minder <laughs> and I can't remember where I got it from at all. I don't know. I know it was on Etsy, but that's as much as I know. But yeah, my needle minder. So that is Temperature Garden. Let me put this back in because I like to tidy up as I'm going along. Because as anybody who does floss tube videos will know, at the end of your video, you're just left with a huge mess. So, that's that. Also, I've lost my tripod that I usually put my camera on. I have no idea. I only keep it in one drawer. And I, I don't know, it's just vanished. So, you're propped up on the top of my sewing machine at the moment. So, sewing machine, of course, yeah, because we had a finish. I, should, I meant to do that first. I've been doing really well this year. I seem to be averaging one finish a month. Um, and I have another one. Ah, made to create by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Is finished. So, there it is. So, 
This month I did the E where we've had, I think that's a bobbin of multicoloured thread, um, like a double hook crochet needle, a pin, some buttons and I did the whole border as well. As you can tell I've not ironed it yet. <laughs> But that is now ready to be FFO. Oh, that was stitched two. I've not got the, the card for this. I've left it in the craft room. This was stitched two over two on 32 count opal Murano by Chromatic Alchemy in the colourway Rubescent. Got it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to FFO this with... I didn't want any fabric that would be too busy because obviously the design's quite busy um i did have some plain fabric in like white cream and like a chocolatey color but i mean the white would have gone with it but i don't know plain white background a bit boring so i've gone for this just uh like lilac polka dot which i'll put on the back i'm going to do that later on today and i'm going to make it into a cushion and I have got some white pom-pom trim to go around it, but I don't think I've got enough because I, I didn't buy it for this. I bought it for something else. So um, I might buy some pom-pom trim and I might actually go for pink. I don't know. White or pink. I might buy both and just see which looks best. And that will be a present for my uh, sister-in-law because uh, she's very multi-craftual. And, uh, yeah, I just thought it suits her down to the ground. So, yeah, so that's that one. So next, oh, in this one, we have my long dog sampler, Death by Cross Stitch. Me and my friend Hannah, hi Hannah. Um, every, well, we started off doing it as Sal um, a couple of months ago. But then, because both of us have got other whips, um, our focus has just been on other things. And it's really been on my mind that I just really wanted to stitch on it. So Hannah had the bright idea that we should dedicate a day a week to it. So we settled on Sunday. So every Sunday, me and Hannah are stitching on Death by Cross Stitch together. Um, and it, it's been really fun. We've only done it two Sundays so far. But it's been really fun because uh, we're, we're like chatting on the DMs on Instagram all the time, you know, all day. And as we're stitching and it's been such fun. And, do you know, I'm absolutely loving this. Sorry, I'll have to cut that out. You fell off the table, off the sewing machine. Um, yeah, as I was saying, um, I don't know, I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, oh yeah, that was it. When this pattern first came out, I saw lots of people stitching it. And I, I don't know, I just wasn't, it didn't interest me. And I think probably especially because I'm one of these that if everybody's stitching it, then I don't want to. <laughs> but um, but I don't know. Then as I saw, like, as I saw it sort of developing and, you know, how the picture was coming out, I quite liked it and then it was two floss tubers in particular um, Pam from Pam's Crafty Corner hi Pam and Andrea from Andrea's Cautionary Tales who I don't think watches me but if, if you do hi Andrea <laughs> um, it was watching their progress on theirs that really made me want to do it so I bought it and kitted it up but then never started it and then it was only when Hannah was on about doing it that I decided I wanted to do it so, I've, I have got a picture of where I was last month, but it's not the best picture. Um, but I will insert that here. And here is where I am now. Is that the right way up? Yep. Not that you can really tell. Look at those colours, it's so pretty. Uh, well, yeah, I'm doing mine in variegated purple and I'm going to pick out, there's lots of hearts scattered throughout the picture and I'm going to um, 
do all the hearts in a pink. I'd want to do it in Gentle Art Azalea, but I know it's not easy to get hold of, so. But this is the silk that I'm using, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and this is um, a silk by Silks for You, and it's um, PR030. Um, but look at it. And this silk is beautiful to work with. It just slides through the fabric and um, it never knots or frays. Um, oh, and I'm stitching it two over two. Yes, two over two. On um, 32 count Murano by Jodry Designs, Opal Murano, in the colourway Silver Tassels. So, hey, I'm getting good at remembering this. It's only taken me, what, six, seven years? Can't remember how long ago. This is my seventh year, I think, on Floss Tube. So, I'm not going to put that back in the bag because it's a bit of a squeeze. So, that is that. Uh, next is, I've not been able to put any pictures of this on Instagram because it's the birth sampler for my youngest stepsister's first baby and i've not taken off the q snap so just bear with me um yeah um her first baby is due at the end of september 28th of september to be precise so that gives me time sorry sorry I, i'm usually prepared but obviously i'm not this time maybe somebody was walking past it's all right, it's just a dog walk. So this is what I am stitching. Please excuse the glare. It's by Bossy Threads and it's simply called Love Baby Girl. I showed this to my dad and he was like reading out the name on there and I'm like, no, he's going to have the baby's name. <laughs> I don't, he, thought, he thought I was just going to put Sophie Puppy on, but the baby's not going to be called Sophie Puppy. They've not decided on a middle name yet. She's going to be called Mia, M-I-A. Um, they've not decided on a middle name yet. So they're between two. So And obviously can't stitch the, the birth date on until the baby's born. So I'm doing it mostly with the kit supplies. I've just, I subbed out the fabric. It came on a 14 count white Ada. I've subbed it out for a 28 count opal white ada and the silver that's the tree was the was the awful madeira metallic silver and i've tried that once before in the past and i wasn't even going there so i subbed it out with a petite treasure braid so i've not worked on this for over a week actually but here we are now so I've done the full outline of the tree. Is that? Oh no, I thought the needle mind was hiding something, but it's not. I've done the full outline of the tree. The bottom is completely done apart from, it's got some, um, oh, I can't show you because the chart's there, but it's got some like sequins and um, like embroidered flowers to, to stitch on. So you can see like where the flower stems are. Um, but I'm leaving that till the end. Um, but then I'm just working up this side at the moment. But it's so cute. Oh, love it. So I have shown my stepmom and she thinks that, um, that my stepsister will like it. But um, I can't put anything on Instagram because um, she follows me on Instagram. Um, and I don't want her to, to, I don't want her to see it, you know, until it's done. So uh, I can show it here because she's not into stitching in the slightest. So I don't think there's any chance of her watching my, my videos. So I'll just have to show it. That's probably why, if you do follow me on Instagram, you'll have noticed I've not been putting that much stitching on there recently. And that's been why, because mainly I'm concentrating on working on that. And I can't put it on Instagram, so... I've given over putting everything away already. And um, the last thing that I've been working on is, um, what do you call it? Hello Sunshine <laughs> by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And the 
second part came out for this on Monday, but I didn't pick it up till yesterday because I was finishing off Made to Create. This is my little card here, so you can see the days this month I've worked on it. And I am stitching this on 28 count Opal Brittany by Jodry Designs in the colourway Maple Ribbons. And I've not taken this off the cue snap either. I was working on this last night. Ooh, there's my needle. The highlighter fell on the floor. Yeah, it was um it was a beautiful day here yesterday. Hot and humid, which wasn't good, <laughs> but it was lovely and I sat outside till about nine o'clock last night um, just stitching so it was good fun. So I'll put, oh no I've not got a picture of where I was last month on this have I? No. So um, yeah sorry about that but this is where I am now. Now last month I'd done the tree, I'd done the bird, the bird, the flamingo. And I'd done the grass, but I hadn't done the flower. Oh, I'd done that orange flower. I hadn't done those. I think that's all I had to finish off last month. So obviously I did the flowers. And then this month I've started on um, those there. There's not actually that much more to do. There's a toucan sat there who's quite big. Um, but otherwise that's, that's uh, yeah, that's a good chunk of this month's done in just one day stitching. It was a long day stitching. I stitched for a long time, but but yeah. So I'm loving that. Um, and I've already stitched, I don't know if you remember from a few floss tubes ago, I've already stitched Hello Petal. Um, and that's completed. And in here, I do have kitted up um, what the other two, Hello Pumpkin and Hello Dear. So I will do those at some point. So yeah, this putting things away has just gone completely out the window. And I think I'll put this back here because I'm running out of space. So that's all I've worked on this month. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what shall I move on to next? Next, I will move on to mum because uh, mum's had another finish. Um, she finished Bliss Fairy by um, Mirabilia <laughs> Brain um, and she stitched it in I think a few days over a month is all it took her. She still refuses to believe that she's a fast stitcher even though I tell her and you tell her on Instagram and on here as well but she still doesn't think she is. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful so i will insert a video that we did was it on monday when um she came round with her and i'll insert that here mum's here hi, hi. <laughs> oh hi poppy yeah. <laughs> and she's uh she's brought a mirabilia for me to see so it looks actually it looks good on on the video there because i was just saying to mum how blues and greens don't always show up very well but well, I always think the beads don't show up. Yeah, though. just zoom in a bit. And you can see she's got quite big beads on her wings. <coughs> yes, Mikey's got an opinion on that. And, uh, yeah. And how long did it take you, Mum? Four weeks and four days. Yeah, which she still refuses to believe that she's a fast stitcher. <laughs> but, yeah, so it's looking beautiful. So what are you doing next? Uh, mini snow, it's a haid one. Yeah, so, and you've already started, haven't you? <laughs> well, I've done a box, yeah. Yeah, well, that's a hundred stitches. Oh, is, that, is, class that that, is that a hundred? Yeah, it ten is. by ten, ten, yeah. By so ten, yeah. I'd, I'd class that as a, as a start, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So she'll have that done probably, <laughs> well, in a, a know, couple a of months. One. It's a big one, <laughs> and it's full coverage, so yeah. it's going to take a lot longer. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, bye, Mum. Bye. <laughs>
It's by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, and if I can find a picture of it, I'll insert it here. If you didn't see a picture there, it's because I couldn't find one, but I'm pretty sure I would have done, I hope. Uh, future Kerry and Editing will uh, will look for that. So, yes, yeah, so next I will do haul. I did have a little bit of haul. Um, the first is two bags, two project bags. I asked Charlotte at um, Lovely Lottie's. Uh, to do a couple more bags for me. Um, she does have a Facebook shop, which I will link um, below. Um, she does mainly sewing, like um, she makes these keepsake teddy bears out of um, children's school uniforms and things like that. Um, I'm not sure whether she actually, because I'm not on Facebook, so I can't check for myself. So somebody, if, if you can tell me, I don't think she actually shows project bags on her shop. But if you just ask her, she'll she can make project bags thread keepers um grime guards whatever you want so i needed one bag um but i couldn't choose between two fabrics because i i tend to order my own fabric for her and send it to her um i couldn't decide between two fabrics so i said well can you do me two <laughs> she is extremely reasonably priced in fact i told her she needs to put her prices up because what she charges for two project bags you'd struggle to find one for on on etsy but but yeah but this is the first fabric and in fact i think this is my favorite fabric oh. it was a new fabric the elephant in my handbag which i buy all my fabric from which i'll link below um i buy all my fabric from there and it was a new one in as you can see she does um a little heart which is you know a squishy heart for the ring pull and I love I love the handles on it as well and I asked her for matching accessory bag but the accessory bag she's made are quite large and in fact you could fit <laughs> you could fit a small in the accessory bag and she just puts like a little tab on on that key ring and it's also got a little handle so it's just plain inside so and they're lovely and quilted and squishy and yeah, they're, they're really nice. So that was the first one. Then the other fabric, which I really liked as well, was this one. Oh, it's got like cats and butterflies, my two favourite things in beautiful rainbow colours to match my tattoo. <laughs> and another heart on the, the ring pull. I should put a funky green zip on this one. And again, got a matching accessory bag, which is large enough to put a small in. And it's just, again, just plain inside, which to, I'm quite happy with plain. I'm not bothered about a pattern inside, especially when I've got something so heavily patterned. Yeah, so that's two new project bags when I only needed one, but you can never have too many project bags. But yeah, check out Charlotte's shop lovely lotties and like i say you probably won't see um project bags or grime guards there but just uh, send her a message have a chat she'll make it and she's really quick as well um the other thing i ordered i don't remember if you remember on last month's video i was showing you um the giraffe mandala that sorry you fell off again <laughs> i really need to find the um What's it called? Tripod <laughs> for next month. My brain today, it's just mush. Yeah, um, last month, um, Megan from Maloka Designs, and here's Charlie, um, sent me the Mandela Giraffe to stitch and to give you um, the discount code for the giraffe kit. And she fell off again. Um, yeah, the, the code for the giraffe kit is kitty10. Um, but I wanted to do the mandala elephant. Um, and then she also released, I thought I'd wait because she then released a mandala cat. I thought, well, I have to have that. So again, please excuse the glare. But here are the full kits for 
the mandala elephant. This editing is really going to be a pain. <laughs> anyway, this is the mandala cat. And this morning at 7am, she also released a mandala dog. So I have got that. But like I said, these are the full kits. Comes with everything you need. And you're good to go. I think... Oh, and I got this mug. <laughs> yeah, I'm a sucker for a mug. I just want to cross stitch and ignore all of my adult problems. I think we can all agree to that one, can't we? Yeah, so that is that. So next I will move on to um, my friend Lorna Ladybird Stitcher. Hi Lorna. Um, in her video last month she did, um, it was a tag of um, like six, like six bucket list things, you know, stitching things, like six things that you want to get stitched, stitched, <laughs> you want to get stitched, um, you know, more than anything. So I had a look through everything I've got um, on my X Stitch app because I couldn't be bothered getting it all out. I'm, I'm new pretty much anyway. I, I had at least four in my head, which I knew about, um, you know, I knew straight away, but have had a look at the others. I've not got all the, the things out because most of them are PDF patterns. Well, three of them are PDF patterns. Um, so I'm going to insert pictures. So here we are in no particular order. Well, actually, the first one is probably is number one on my list. And it is actually, um, it was a gift from Lorna and it's Juliet. Um, it's a tilt and crafts pattern and I'm blanking on the net. Oh, Takaki is who it's by. Um, and I absolutely love this. I'll insert a picture of Juliet here. And um, if you want to see it being stitched up, um, go and watch uh, Lorna. Ladybird Stitcher, I'll link her below, um, because she's, she's really, I don't know, maybe she done maybe a third, if not, if not a bit more, um, and she's so beautiful, I love the colours in her, I have fond memories, like, of Romeo and Juliet, um, from school, um, it was just, it was a really fun, year at school even though I was bullied all the way through school but English was like my, was my favourite lesson and I just remember sitting and like we'd read we'd be reading out Romeo and Juliet in the class and everything it was, it was just a nice time you know we had a nice teacher and everything so but I just love the colours in this one so Juliet is, is uh, number one the second is one that I've had for ages I actually bought the full size one which is massive. And then a few years later, I bought I bought it in the mini. If I do do it, I think I'll probably end up doing the full size one because it is absolutely beautiful. And I think the detail in it will be amazing. And this is Unicorn Spring by Haid. And I'll, heaven and earth designs, um, and I'll stick a picture of that in here. I absolutely love it. Uh, the next one on my list is A Stitch in Time, which is also by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, this was gifted to me by um, Teresa Little Stitcher when it first came out, and I still haven't got, got around to starting it. But um, I really love this one. Um, I love Amy Stewart's designs. Um, and just this one in particular because it's about stitching and seeing like all the like you know like the old-fashioned you know ladies sat, sat with their big dresses in front of a window and by candlelight stitching I just love it and I love the fact that it's in seasons you know spring summer autumn winter and sorry I'm knocking the table and Charlie's coming back now this camera is driving me mad today it really is um and we've got a kitty butt. 
Oh, please don't fall off again. Just stay where you are. Charlie, it's your fault for moving around. Right, next one on the list after stitching time is it's actually four because <laughs> um, it's a series of four and although like I do have my favourites within the series I couldn't just pick one out when it's a series and it's the Dinky Dye samplers the um, spring, summer, autumn, winter samplers um, I think the winter one is my favourite because I love the blues in it um, I've got them fully kitted up, fully ready to go Apart from I don't think I've picked um, a fabric yet, but other than that, they're good to go. But I absolutely love these. Um, they were unicorn charts for a long time until um, I managed to get them at Lakeside Needlecraft. But I'll put a picture of the four of them in here. Next on my list is Plum Pudding by Glendon Place. Um, this is another one that I've had for years. And in fact, I think it was when it first came out and it's all kitted up, including fabric. Um, and it's just another one that I just absolutely love. Um, obviously it's in purples, which is my color. Um, but it's just, I've, I have seen it finished, you know, um, in, in real life and it's just absolutely stunning so that is definitely on my list and then the last one it was a bit difficult trying to choose between so many but i decided to go with save the stitches by liz almond um, which is another one that i've had kitted up for many many years um, I think the fabric I've got it kitted up on is actually the same one that I'm doing uh, my long dog sampler on, it's uh, silver tassels and I'm doing it in purples obviously <laughs> um, but yeah I've had it kitted up for so long and I just absolutely love it when I see other people stitching it, it's so beautiful I will put a picture of it in um, round about here but obviously it's um, going to be I don't know whatever colorway I, f I find it in I think the original one it's in um, black with um, I think like a copper a co there's definitely a copper I think it's a copper and silver metallic then copper copper and silver beads I think that's how it was originally charted but you know, as with anything, it's one of these that you could do in many ways. Um, but that's my six. Like I said, it was very difficult to narrow it down to six. There were some that jumped out immediately, like Juliet and Unicorn Spring, and then others that I had to sort of weigh up, really. But this is a tag and I tag you, yes you. So if you would like to do it, please, um, you know, do it on um, on floss tube and let me know that you've done it. Or um, if you don't do floss tube or you don't want to put it on your floss tube, um, do it on Instagram and tag me because I'd love to see uh, what, what you come up with. It'd be really fun. Um, so yeah, so that's that. So next we will move on to giveaways and I have drawn the winners of last month's giveaway which was a big one because it was an apology giveaway. Um, so it was a piece of fabric in fall trees. Um, it's a, a fat quarter I think, 
18 by 26 inches and it's by Jodry Designs and Opal Brittany, 28 count Opal Brittany, um, September 2014 limited edition. I've not got it out of the pack because, well, first of all, I'd be useless at getting it back in and second of all, because I've got cats, cat hairs getting everything and you might be allergic to cats, so it stayed sealed. So that's that one. And the other thing that I was giving away was an item out of my D stash, which was a brand new unopened full kit by Dimensions Gold of Coastal View. Not because I don't like this, because I absolutely love it, but I've just got so many and this one is like towards the bottom of the list that I just thought I'll probably never get it done. So I have found two deserving homes for these. Um, for the fabric, there was 30 entries for the fabric and the winner was Linda Cook and Linda, I commented on her comments and she has already emailed me with her address. So that's really good. So I'll get this out to you sometime, Linda. It depends on when I can get up to the, um, to the post office because it depends on how I'm feeling, whether I can get up there. I'm hoping to go up the village on Saturday morning because our choir is meeting for the first time outside in the church grounds. And the church is like a stone's throw from the post office. So if I do go, depending depending on how I feel, hopefully I'll get them posted. So that was that one. And the winner of Coastal View was Coco Creates, or more accurately, Coco Creates Mum. Because <laughs> um, she's just got her mum back into stitching, and I think her mum really liked this. So she entered on behalf of her mum. So Coco Creates, this is coming to you. Um, I've seen as I've been recording this video, I saw an email pop up from you. So that's brilliant, both both addresses already. Um, it has got some padding on the corners. That's how it came to me. Um, and hopefully it will get to you. Oh, sorry, I've just got a message about low power. I'm having problems with my phone at the moment. It doesn't hold its charge at all. Um, so yeah, that'll be sent to you. Quickly before my power runs out, just a small giveaway for next month. These were some patterns that I got free, so it's okay to show you the pattern. These came free from uh, Lakeside Needlecraft. They're really cute, I really like them, but I'll probably never stitch them. So I thought I would give them away, and they are flowers. Um, they're all flowers, I'm not sure, I think there's about six or seven here, but that's got a hummingbird on. The colours it gives you is 4 e 12 but if you just take the C off it, then that gives you the DMC number. So, so there's um, like that one. That one's so cute. Well, they're all cute, but that one. Oh, there's more than one. They're folded up. Some of them are folded up. Oh, and some of them are the same pattern. I love that one. So I might draw a few winners for this. So I'll have to go through them. I'll see how many there is. I love that one. That was really nice. Me and my winter stroke Christmas scenes. So if you would like to win these, then please use the keyword flower. Because we've got lots of flowers. Use the keyword flower in your comment. Please don't use the word giveaway. Usual rules apply. You have to be 18 to give me your address. Blah, 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 the usual things. So, so yeah, and depending on how many I count out, I'll draw that amount of winners. They have got a fold in them. That's how they came to me. I didn't do that. I will try and put them in a flat envelope, but I might fold it just to make it a bit cheaper. So as long as you don't mind folded patterns. But they are really cute, those. So that's the giveaway for this month. So I think that's it. I've got a lot of editing to do because not only have I got to put all the pictures in, I've got to edit out all the times the camera's fallen off. Um, Charlie's lying down here. Now this is his position when, when I do choir on a Saturday morning, which we do on Zoom. Um, I always sit here, um, I do my, I have Zoom on my iPad and Charlie always sits with me and joins in. Don't you, Charlie? Yeah. yeah. He loves choir. His favourite song, it's um, is it a Cornish sort of like sea shanty called um, Nothing Like Pilchards. 
which which we're doing at the moment and um keep we keep saying because charlie's the official mascot for our choir um we keep saying that's charlie's song because it's a song about fish and cats love fish yeah anyway <laughs> I will go and edit. I managed to get this done before the gardener came, which is really good. I just want to go out and feed the birds first, so I shall do that. I will brew a cup of tea, and then by the time I get back, that will be done. So thank you all so much for watching, for liking, for subscribing. If you would like to help support me and support my channel and help support the postage for giveaways, I do have a buy me a coffee link below. Mine's buy me a few tea bags because I'm more of a tea, I, I like coffee, I like coffee but I'm more of a tea person um, because I have, I have problems with lots of palpitations, the cardiologist always tells me I shouldn't really drink coffee anyway but you didn't need to know that, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, you know, and I, I did have one nice, um, well I've, I've had, to, had two nice donations last month and I won't call people out but you know who you are and thank you so much it's uh i really appreciate it um i've still not bought that ring light yet i'm still using my my overhead light just uh, angled at me but it seems to be working but i will buy that ring light and another tripod if i can't find the other one <laughs> so so yeah have a good july enjoy the warmth if you're in the northern hemisphere enjoy the cold if you're in the southern hemisphere and I'll meet you all back here, same time, same place, at the end of July. <laughs> Bye.